Hi, it's Mr. Anderson. Welcome to AP Biology Lab 9 Walkthrough. This lab is on transpiration. Whenever I hear the word transpiration, I immediately think of leaf evaporation. So that's the best way to think about it, and you'll have a better understanding what transpiration is. Basically what's happening is that water is flowing up a tree, and the way it flows up a tree is the sun, you can see the sun up here is shining. Basically it's heating up the water in the leaf, and the water is evaporating. Now it's leaving the leaf through something called a stomata. And so if this is a cross section in a leaf, there are going to be these tiny little holes, almost a little like mouths, they're called stomata. And basically water is going to evaporate out of the stomata. So as it evaporates up here, and again the sun is providing the energy, there's going to be a tube that goes all the way from here back through the xylem, all the way down the tree, all the way down into the roots. And so there's this connected tube of water all the way up to the top. So basically as the water evaporates off the leaf, this whole column is going to move up because all those water molecules are attracted to each other because of hydrogen bonding. And so in this lab what we're going to do is measure the rate of that. Now it's hard to measure an actual tree, so we'll be using something called a potometer. A potometer looks like this. What you do is you take one leaf, and that one leaf is going to be connected to a tube. You have to make sure that it's airtight right here. And then that tube is going to be filled with water all the way around over to here. So it's basically going to line up. And then we're going to have a pipette on this end. So if we zoom in, you're going to have a pipette that looks just like that. So basically what happens is as water is going to evaporate off the leaf on this side, that's going to pull water up through the stem. That's why it has to be airtight here. And as it pulls the water like this, this is going to move, that water is going to move down, and so we can measure the rate of that movement, and we can measure the rate of transpiration. Now one thing you have to kind of watch out for is that we want to make sure that all leaves are going to be a little bit different. So one thing you can do is you can put this whole thing on graph paper. This is a really bad graph paper. Um, like this. And then you can trace the leaf on the graph paper like that you can calculate the area of the leaf inside it. And so we can make sure that all leaves are gonna be, we're gonna measure it as a per surface area. Um, but let me kind of show you what we have. So this would be our standard lab setup, basically set up in your lab, ready to go. Um, we then compare that over time to the following. We have another one where we put that leaf inside a bag and then we put mist inside the bag. So you may be thinking in the top of your head, like, what's going to happen there? Next, we have another lab setup. We'll call this lab setup three, where we have the leaf in front of a light bulb. Now, one important thing that I'm not showing here that you have to have is that you put the light bulb like this. So the light's shining in this direction. We'll also put some water, and we call that a heat sink, because we don't want to measure the temperature and how that affects it. So we'll put a heat sink between the light bulb and then we'll put the leaf over like that. So just the light is moving through. So that would be setup three. And then setup four, what we're going to do is we're going to have a leaf and then we're going to have a fan blowing on it. And so what you should think in your head is, well, how are each of these going to affect it? And so basically what we find, this is data that was collected in class. So at time three, six, nine, all the way through 21 minutes, we should start at zero as well what we get is a fairly linear relationship. Again, this is data that was collected in class, so it's pretty linear. Um, the slope of this line, since we are going over time, the slope of that line, since we're measuring millimeters per, per, uh, per meter squared, basically the slope of that line is going to give me the rate. So slope equals the rate. In other words, the steeper the slope, the faster the rate. So let me clear all my scribbling out of the way. Which of these is going to be the fastest? Well, the light is going to be the fastest, followed by the fan, followed by the room, followed by mist. Uh, and that's hopefully what you were thinking. In other words, if you just think of that leaf like a wet towel that's sitting there, what are the following going to do to it? Well, in summary, basically if you increase um, the temperature, we're going to get an increase in the amount of movement of kinetic energy, and so it's going to increase it. If we increase the humidity, there's going to be an indirect relationship. In other words, the more humidity we put, the less evaporation. And the reason why is that they simply, the molecules can't jump off and evaporate. If we increase air, there's going to be a direct relationship because it's going to move more of those water molecules away and light intensity as well. It's going to increase 
uh, the temperature of those uh, molecules is going to speed up their kinetic energy and they're going to transpire more quickly. And so that's kind of a summary. It's a pretty straightforward lab, uh, but I hope that's helpful.